Hi everybody, welcome to Willis Elevators and welcome to another trip report video. So as you can see here I arrived here at Mexico City from Querétaro. Today we will be flying for the very first time on the brand new Air Mexico Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft to Merida. The 737 MAX is the next generation of the regular 737. It was first introduced in May 2017, which was 5 years ago. The MAX has been grounded from March 2019 to November 2020, and then it flies again before the end of the year. That new plane has more efficient engines, meaning that it reducing 16% of fuel, just like the A220neos. I've always wanted to fly on that airplane since when. Air Mexico has got the first 737 MAX 9 a year ago in May 2021, and it's being used on domestic routes, but hopefully it flies to international routes as well. And we can't see the aircraft from here, but the aircraft we will be flying on is registered X-Ray Alpha dash November November November. This plane was delivered on September 2021, which is just about a year ago. The time for this flight will be 1 hour and 59 minutes, and we will be flying on the altitude of 37,000 feet in the flight number 848. Right there is the flight schedule, what time we will be boarding, and we will begin boarding now. Alright, so here are now boarding gate 623 from Terminal 2. All right, so here right now on board on the brand new 737 MAX 9 aircraft and I'll be seated today at seat 21A. This plane has 147 economy class seats with a pitch of 31 and the width of 17, 18 AM plus seats with a pitch of 34 and the width of 17, and 16 class A premier seats with a pitch of 38 and the width of 21. There are a total of 181 seats on board this plane. And here's your quick view outside. Here I have not much of a leg room because the separation is limited. And here's the safety card which shows the safety instructions. Here's the tray table. It's really small but it does pull back and right there is the cup holder where you put your drink. And up here you have your overhead controls. Before we start our pushback, the interior is now fully blue. Here's your view of the safety video. Here we are now pushing back from gate 63 from terminal 2 and listen to the motor start up.
Here we are now taxiing to runway 5 right and we will be taking off shortly. And as we are taxiing, the second engine is starting up. Alright, so here we made it on one way five right. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the takeoff.
Anyways, we have just begun our takeoff from Mexico City and we are reaching our initial altitude of 37,000 feet. For those of you who are wondering, this plane has high speed Wi-Fi. To connect to the internet, all you gotta do is go to the settings and connect to the Air Mexico Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, I can't access Google nor YouTube. Here you can get into Safari and go to airmexicowifi.com and all you gotta do is accept the terms and conditions. Messaging is free, but Browse and Stream charges you $12 for it. Here is the IFE screen which is bigger. The first thing you see here is the language screen, which you can choose any language you want. Let's say I want it in English. And to watch TV shows, you just tap TV series. And here are many TV shows you can watch, and they're from HBO Max. If you want to watch a sitcom, tap comedy. If you want to watch movies, you tap movies, and right there's the new movie called Elvis, which was released a few months ago this year. If you want to learn about the airline, you tap about, and if you want to see the fleet information, you tap fleet. And here are a list of planes that this airline has. To access the movie map, you tap the movie map down below and you wait for a few seconds and the movie map pops up. This map is like if you're using Google Earth and here you can control it somehow. You can control it in 2D or 3D. This plane has power outlets which is found on every seat down below in front of you. The two screens right next to me, unfortunately they weren't working. Here we are now going into the rear laboratory of the plane. We're gonna go right here to the laboratory. Okay everyone, here we are in the Rockwell Collins Laboratory. In the, in the back side of the 737 MAX 9 aircraft and look in the mirror, hey, and as you can see, the bathroom is atmosphere, but it's unlocked and if you lock it, we get light and look in the mirror, hello, we got some light now and right here's the sink, wires hide and here's soap, right here's the commode with the flush button and right here's the baby tanking station. And uh, the bathroom is a little bit, a little bigger than the 737 MAX 8 and right there is the tissues and right here's toilet paper, here's the trash bin and here's the other mirror here. Hello. And I am taller. And right there's the cabin cool call button. And right here are the two tissues here on this side. So anyways, we're going to go back to our seat now. Here we are heading back to our seat now. As you can see, 
here we are now leaving the federal district state and we're about to fly over the sea of Gulf of Mexico. If you want to play the whole world, you tap play and here is the view of the earth. Here is also the pilot's view. Here is also the passenger's view. Here on top of the screen, you can control on how you want the moving map. If you want to power off the IFE screen, there's the power button down below. And to turn it back on, you just tap it. Here I got apple juice and peanuts, which I'm not going to eat. Cheers to the 737 MAX 9. Those overhead compartments are called Boeing Spain Spins, and they can fit up to 6 bags per bin. That's something I never heard before, but it's really awesome. Here's the safety on board guide. Alright, so we have just begun our descent in Merida and we are now going below the altitude of 37,000 feet and we are about to enter the state of Yucatan in the short bit. And as we are descending, the lights have changed to orange and it does feel very atmosphere. Here we are suffering a little bit of turbulence. Now that we have left the Gulf of Mexico, we now have entered the state of Yucatan. Here we are in our final approach to Merida and we will be landing on runway 10.
Bienvenidos al Aeropuerto Internacional de la Ciudad de Mérida para su información la hora local 11 de la noche con 41 minutos. Por su seguridad permanezcan sentados hasta que el avión se detenga por completo. Una vez que la señal de escuchar el cinturón haya sido apagada, podrán levantarse de su asiento y tomar sus pertenencias. A partir de este momento pueden utilizar su de Mérida International Airport for information local time. And here we are now pulling into the remote boarding position. In this next scene, this is the boarding Air Mexico Boeing 737 MAX 9, flight 848 from Mexico City to Merida. Here we are now going into the baggage claim area. Here's your view of the baggage claim area. Well everybody, that's going to wrap up the trip report video on an Air Mexico 737 MAX 9 aircraft to Merida. So be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below, let me know what everybody thinks. So, till then guys, thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.